Hey guys, it's Subtic Codes again, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to implement Firebase phone authentication in Android. And I'm assuming you already got registered on Firebase. If not, quickly head over to firebase.google.com and create an account, and then come back and watch this video. Let's get started. On your Firebase console, click on Add Projects, type the project name of your choice choose your region and if you wish you could edit your project id and when you're done you click on create project gonna make some changes it's gonna take some time to load depending on your internet and when that's done you choose the platform you'll be working on so i'll choose android and i'll put my package name my app nickname and the SHA certificate. Now the SHA certificate can be gotten from your Android Studio. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Go to Android Studio, go to my Dredo. I'll refresh it just to make sure everything is in place. Click on this down drops, get to sign in reports. Then I have my certificate key. Just copy that and place it in the dialog box and click on register app. So the next step is to download the Google Service JSON file. Now this file contains uh, most of the configurations already in it. So you download that and you copy it and paste it to the app folder of your project. So I'm going to navigate to that from my um, Android Studio. Right click, click on Show in Explorer. Open my app folder and paste it there. Then you click on Continue. Now the next step is to get the dependencies. Now it's very important to know where to paste them. So the first one is going to the project level dependency. So go to Android Studio, go to your Gradle scripts and look for the one that says the project and paste it there. And the second one, we're going to paste it in our app level uh, Gradle scripts. So you copy that, go back to your Android Studio and paste it at the bottom. When you're done, you sync. And that might take some time to sync and download the necessary things. Now, when that's done syncing, all you need to do is uh, click on finish. Now, uh, phone authentication is quite straightforward in Firebase. Well, I think it is. Most of the job has been done. So what you'll be doing is mostly copy and paste and make some changes. So I'm going to go to, let's navigate to authentication. Yeah, that's it. Authentication. Then I'm going to click on sign up, set up sign in method. I'll switch on the phone, enable it. And this is like a documentation to show you how to go about it. Very straightforward. I think we've already done step one. You can check. Yes, we've already done all of step one, which is to get firebase into our app now we'll jump into the second step is to get the dependency for the firebase authentication copy that paste that in the, the app level now app level dependencies just paste that there and when you're done you sync your project uh, before i forget i think i need to enable this save let me just enable google click on enable then i'll save just in case if i forget now for some reasons dependencies you're unable to download so here is a quick fix add the google marvin url and resync that fixed it now here's the layer i'll be using for my phone authentication i have the login button i have where the phone number will be uh, place then the country code so I'm just gonna define most of these views in my phone activity just Java
so I'm going to define my button and when I'm done I'm going to add an on click listener to trigger the phone authentication so I'm going to add an on click listener to the button which I just added So for my button, I'm going to create a, a method which will trigger the phone authentication. Attempt login. Oh, that was a mistake. Sorry. So just to make sure uh, every um, can get the phone number, I'm gonna just log a new info here, and uh, on button click, I want to see the number I just typed. I'm gonna do that and run the program. in the number from the documentation I'm gonna head over to a github where the firebase was used firebase authentication so I'm gonna copy all the imports classes of all things that has to do with firebase paste that in my own Android studio now I'm leaving out everything or any other thing that has to do with the layouts now copy all of this, paste that also in my code, some of them might not be needed. Now remember I'm not copying anything that has to do with the layout because I already have my layout. I'm going to quickly scroll down and copy the method that contains the phone authentication instance, paste that in my code. Now I need a boolean here. Now, if you see the start phone number method needs a phone string, phone number string to be passed. So I'm gonna pass the phone number from my layout. Then this error is because I've not uh, initiated a boolean. So I'm gonna go up here and just copy the boolean here and the string, which I'm gonna need later. Paste that in mine. Now the verification M verification in progress boolean tells the authentication that it's in progress so it turns to true so now for the callback now the callbacks handle what happens when uh, the verification is completed or when a code is imputed and stuff like that so I'm just gonna copy all of it paste there to copy all then I'm gonna paste it my Android Studio. Is that there for my own creates? Remember, I should be on own create. So, uh, one more thing now that handles my callback. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the last part that actually handles the sign in. Copy that, paste it to my Android Studio. Uh, import the non null and take out the last part there. I'm gonna run this and see what happens. Hopefully, I don't get a crash. So I got a message about a crash. So let's see Firebase on a null object. Maybe I initiated something, but I didn't reference it. The Firebase authentication. 
so I'm just gonna have a look so here the fab is authentication so I think I didn't uh, reference that let me go down and see yeah so here it goes so I'm gonna copy this just to get an instance of it first paste that before my callbacks I'm gonna run it again okay let's see what happens okay so the message came in so I'm gonna quickly just make a few changes to my authentication we're gonna add some checks to the phone number to add some methods to make sure the user imputes the phone number and uh, other changes like the loading layout and stuff like that so i'm just going to quickly move through this i uploaded the project on my github so you can get that and uh, look through what i just did now this could be done any way you like depending on what you are coding for and it has nothing to do with firebase authentication just some checks some loading here and there that's what i'm adding right now so i'm gonna quickly rush through this Now heading over to the method that actually handles what happens when the user successfully verifies this number. So I'm just going to add um, a new intent here to take me to a new activity. So authenticating with Firebase is pretty straightforward. Most of the code has been written, so all you need to do is a little tweak here and there, changing your layout, copying the right things. And making sure that you put some checks in your authentication to make sure the user actually imputes the number uh, if the number it's up to the amount needed for it to actually be a phone number and stuff like that so I'm gonna be heading to a new activity now I believe it's best to put something in place to make sure the user doesn't always keep verifying its number to at least save you cost and uh, save the user some hassle of always logging in so you could do that by uh, the database SQLite or by shared preferences whichever you feel like so I'm going to be showing more tutorials on how to do this later in my channel and also how to log in with uh, Google So there it is guys, a simple login with uh, Firebase phone authentication. So if you like my video, please leave the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And for anything you would like to see in my channel or for any suggestions, anything that I need to work on and stuff like that, you can leave it in the comment section below and I will get to it as soon as possible.